If Dreams ever got multiplayer, it would have been even better than LBP at its peak. <laughs> How could you say that? The dark side compels you. We're starting off this video strong, folks. Welcome to LBP Hot Takes. That is right, folks. Two Rollers posted this tweet on November 28th saying, what LBP opinion has you like this? Let's break down this first hot take. Now, obviously, this is all jokes. I don't hate any of you, but at the same time, th this is just incorrect. The reason why Dreams stunk, why no one played it and why it shut down, is because Dreams was too niche. LBP's create mode, it's very hard to make a very good level, but any idiot like myself can make a mediocre level. So the point of entry is lower and LBP has a proper story mode. LBP 3 could have been the best LBP game if the devs didn't rush it and had time. Liar! Nothing is better than Little Big Planet coating. But as for this tweet, as for this opinion, they're not wrong. The a new LBP game isn't gonna have the same feel as the older games because most of the LBP LVP community has grown up and lost that childlike wonder. Very, very true. I've played back through the second and the first game. It still was fun, but it doesn't feel the same. That's because of nostalgia. So a new game would probably never live up to the hype. If you're making stuff in LBP in hopes of becoming a famous creator, you're already doing it wrong. Create for the fun, not for the fame. Now, this statement is true mostly because there is no fame to be had from creating for LBP. LBP is no longer a safe game for children to play. I completely disagree with this statement. What about it isn't safe for children? You don't have Joe Biden sniffing kids' heads. Well, I don't understand what the problem is. Is it because of that one pedophile hacker? Bro, it's one guy. One guy, no one's heard of him in like three years. LWP3 is the best one. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my God, stop fucking lying. I'm going to be very honest here. I'm sorry if this sounds wrong or really controversial to others, but I need to get this one out. Personally, I think Little Big Planet is a game franchise. I hope you all understand. Why the fuck you lying? This is a very controversial thing to say. More controversial than anything I've ever said. Disgusting. How could you say that a series of video games is a game franchise. I mean, what the hell is that? And as soon as I say that, my camera stops recording. <laughs> like I was recording this video. I'm gonna go off topic for a minute. I'm recording the video in five minutes in. My memory car ran out of storage, so we're gonna do the rest of this with some fun gameplay in the background. Now we're gonna go to the tweet itself and look at some of the replies it got. Two Brawls is the worst LVP project. I could not agree with you more, JK. Never mind, I was joking. I was obviously joking. This is what I replied with saying how Sal was good, but should not be repeated. I 100% agree with my own opinion. Sal was great, we all love Saba, but if they did it again, it would kill the franchise. LBP better than Minecraft. Why the f*** you lying? Now here we have our last hot take, which will piss off some of the Saba writers, but we must read it. Saba was a terrible decision for the core element of eight LBP, so amazing creating levels and removed it from some meh platforming. I hope it's a one-off because it's nowhere near as good I the other previous OVP title. They're not actually two. I don't know why I, I voiced them like that. I 100% agree with Dark Avenger. Because while Saba, in my opinion, was a fun game, it should have been a game that came out maybe a year or two after OVP 3 as a spin-off. And then a proper OVP game was released after that. It simply cut them up to the hype. It has nothing really special going for it. And that is why I don't think Saba sold well. And if it made a Saba sequel, I think it would still score terribly. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.